Thank you for buying a genuine Nora Seal product. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to maintain the Series 3023 three-way control valve. The 3023 is a tough, durable valve that is designed for harsh oil field applications. However, any valve parts that are subject to normal wear must be inspected and replaced as necessary. The frequency of inspection and maintenance will depend on the severity of the service conditions. Before attempting any repairs, isolate the control valve from the system and make sure that all pressure is released from the valve body. Failure to relieve pressures may result in personal injury or device damage. Uncontrolled venting or spilling of line fluids may cause loss of process control, environmental contamination, or even personal injury. For reverse spring closing actuators, remove the compression on the actuator spring by turning the adjusting screw counterclockwise until it turns freely. This indicates that the spring force is fully removed. Now, remove the hammer nut from the body by turning it counterclockwise with a mallet. Lift the hammer nut off the body along with a packing plug, seat cage, plug and stem. Remove the plug from the stem by loosening and removing the nut on the lower end of the stem. If the actuator valve stem connector has been removed, the stem and trim assembly can be removed from the packing plug. Loosen the packing retainer and remove the stem from the packing plug. You should always replace the entire plug and stem assembly. Lift the lower seat and seal out of the body. When you're working on the valve, you should always be careful to avoid damaging sealing surfaces. The surface finish of the valve stem is critical for making a good packing seal. The inside surface of the cage assembly or cage retainer is critical for smooth operation of the valve plug and for making a seal with a piston ring. The seating surfaces of the valve plug and seat ring are critical for a tight shutoff. It's best to assume all these parts are in good condition and protect them accordingly unless your inspection reveals otherwise. You'll want to inspect the valve plug and seat for signs of erosion, pitting, scratches and damage from corrosion. If you have a magnifying glass, it will help you to determine the type and severity of any damage that may be present. You should fit the plug and seat together. While you're looking into the bottom of the seat, hold the trim set against a bright light. If you can see any light between the plug and the seat contact surfaces, that's a good indicator of poor seat conditions. If you see any corrosion or damage, determine how severe it is. Many times the metal seat contact surfaces can be fully restored by relapping, although soft seat parts will need to be replaced. If the packing is showing signs of wear, it will need to be replaced. First, remove the stem and the packing retainer from the bonnet. Pull out the old packing, being careful to avoid scratching the packing box wall or stem. The packing may also be pushed out using a rod, inserted through the hole in the top of the bonnet. Since the packing is spring-loaded, it's also possible to pull up and push down on the stem until the packing pops loose. Make sure you clean the packing box and all metal parts. You'll need to install the new packing and associated parts in a specific sequence. First, insert the upper packing retainer and the packing cap toward the packing. Then insert the V-rings with a V downward toward the body. This will be followed by the lower packing retainer. Finally, insert the packing spring. Now, replace the valve plug stem assembly and install the bonnet on the body using new O-rings. Now it's time to reassemble your valve. If you're planning to reuse packing and it wasn't removed from the bonnet, be especially careful when you install the stem to avoid damaging the packing with the valve stem threads. When you reassemble your valve, you should use all new seals. First, clean all the sealing surfaces, including the body, bonnet, and guide. You can use a light coat of lubricant on the soft seals, such as light oil, to make assembly easier. Assemble the plug parts on the stem, arranging the plug retainer, plug insert, seals, and plug correctly. You can reference the 3023 Operations and Maintenance Manual for a detailed diagram. Now, fasten the plug and parts to the stem with a nut and cotter pin. Place the upper seat spacer and the upper seat cage over the stem and install the seal on the upper seat cage. Push the stem through the bonnet packing. While you're doing this, make sure you don't damage the packing. Install the seal in the lower seat cage and install the lower seat cage into the body seat cavity. Next, install a new packing plug O-ring into the packing plug's groove and mount the packing plug with the plug stem assembly onto the body and lower seat cage. Turn the hammer nut clockwise and tighten it securely with a mallet. Finally, mount the actuator on the bonnet and connect the actuator stem to the valve stem. And you're done. Norseal offers four kits for easy valve maintenance, including a valve repair kit, valve seal kit, trim repair kit, and actuator repair kit. Contact your account representative for more information. For more information on the 3023 three-way control valve, download our new operations and maintenance manual at www.norseal.com.